Okay, this is spur of the moment video. As you can see, we're in autopilot at 73 miles per hour. And the reason for this is I wanna do show that the Model S autopilot does require notification that the owner's or driver is touching the wheel every at a predetermined amount of time. And how do I come up with that is I drive the same route every day, or not, excuse me, not every day, every weekend, to and then from, it's a long drive, uh, a little over two hours, and the car, it, it might take a minute or two, because it, it, it varies depending on my speed, uh, whether it will happen, um, if it does happen, I think it's going to happen within the next two minutes, the car will request notification from me to touch the wheel and it's going to happen any second now. Like I said, this, this can not be the most accurate, but it, it, I'm almost guaranteeing you it will happen. Obviously, if it doesn't happen, then I don't upload this video. change lanes. Check inside, clear. That guy's going too slow. Alright, everybody's going slow for some reason. the one time I have the camera ready, it doesn't do it. And there's a Lamborghini. Figures. And I suppose I did just get a new firmware update right before going to the Gigafactory this weekend. But I bet you I'm just going to keep this rolling because I bet you as soon as I put the phone down, my, my camcorder's in the camera bag charging. Still hasn't recovered from the Gigafactory event. I got four batteries to recharge. Huh. I mean, this is a trip that I've done 40 times now in under autopilot. Oh, there it is. See? Hold steering wheel. There we go. I think it's because I was going a little faster than usual. So now you see it. Please hold st hold steering wheel. So we're going to let it know that we're here. There we go. See? Alright, now it took about a minute later than usual. So, or eh, about a half mile further than usual. So I do believe it's a timed response, not distance response. Uh, since it usually happens around that first bridge that you guys saw between the, the uh, was it two bridges? No, one bridge. Either immediately before or immediately after, but there's a little bit less traffic today, so I was able to maintain that 75, 76 more for a further distance. So, um, like I said, that is pretty much like clockwork. Now, if I would have engaged autopilot later um, in, from getting on freeway, um, then Obviously, it would have taken longer, but it still would have required me. So it is a timed response, not based on surroundings for most of the time. Uh, now, there is a surroundings base where if the car starts to become a little more insured, it's losing one of the lines more frequently, uh, then it, I mean, then that's whenever the car feels it might, it wants to make sure that you are paying attention. But in this case, uh, just for standard driving, uh, a good depicted road where you can see the lines excellently or if you're behind another vehicle, it pretty much does seem to be a timed response and it's very much welcome. And that guy in that motorcycle just passed us about a minute ago. Oh, he went all the way around just checking out the car. And of course, we got a nice thumbs up. So, smile, cheese.